my friends, today we are going to make a zesty, lovely, fresh, homemade lemonade. And we're going to start that by making a simple syrup. Going to add a heaping cupful, you saw that, of just plain old white granulated sugar to six cups of water. And if you can get filtered water, or buy fresh water without the chlorine and that kind of stuff that comes in your local water supply, it will taste so much better. But just tap water's fine, it will work. Heat that just for, you can see, it's like 20 or 30 seconds on a low, medium, low heat, and that sugar will dissolve. Then you wanna set that out of the way and let it rest. Then you wanna take your eight lemons, and if they're tiny ones, you might need to add you know, a couple more. Sometimes the ones that come in a great big bag um, are smaller, so adjust your lemons according to that. You want lemons that are about fist size. Then you just cut those lemons in half, like I'm doing here, across the equator, not, not the long ways, but across the short ways. And then, you know, because we're on video, you wanna arrange your lemons just so. So they look nice for the camera on your teeny tiny cutting board that's way too small for the project you're doing. <laughs> you can then squeeze the lemons like I'm doing here just with your hands or you can use a squeezing tool um, or a reamer like this is a, called a reamer and it really gets the juice out a lot better than squeezing. But it also gets a lot of pulp, which you can see is being caught there in the strainer. So, um, anyway, I think I'm going to speed this up here. You can see I've skipped several frames. It takes a little while to do this, and your hands kind of get tired from squeezing. So, here, let's hurry this one up. Last one, last one, last one. And then... Um, once you have it all squeezed in there, you want to kind of move the pulp around to get the last of the juice out. Then you just take your juice and add it to your water that has the sugar dissolved in it. Mix it up. Give it a little gentle stir. And then I like to add some lemon slices for garnish. And then you can pour it in your pitcher and it's ready to go ignore my kind of dirty stove there. I spilled some flour on it earlier in the day. That's it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Wendy. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you'll join Sarah and I on our mother-daughter adventures and takeout. You can find Dorks with Sports wherever you download podcasts or at dorkswithsports.com.